Hello everyone, welcome back to Radiology Med Easy, your all-time favorite YouTube channel. Let's see today's case. Hello everyone, uh, today I am going to present a new video about COVID-19 virus. It has become a pandemic in the current world, so it has become a major problem in the current world and for the entire population in the world. So uh, it is also known as severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2 and it's a strain of uh, coronavirus and uh, most of the patients are asymptomatic sometimes uh, and uh, and some uh, some people develop uh, respiratory symptoms CVS, GIT, CNS and renal uh, problems. So basically it's a multi-system disorder mainly affecting the respiratory system. Uh, patient can present with uh, fever, actually the percentage is 80 to 90 percent, that's the commonest presentation. Then cough 65 to 70, fatigue 45 to 30, 35 to 40, shortness of breath 15 to 20 percent and disturbed taste and smell can also occur in about 40 to 50 percent of patients. So throat, headache, myalgia and arteralgia can also present in these COVID-19 patients. So diagnostic test is uh, rapid PCR test and uh, chest X-rays and HRCTs are not for the diagnosis actually and also not for the screening. So PC, uh, uh, rapid uh, PCR test is the diagnosis, diagnostic tool and uh, chest X-ray and HRCT are mainly for complications, for detect complications in those patients if they are not responding to antiviral treatment. So when we consider complications, uh, one complication is uh, acute respiratory distress syndrome and also sometimes they can develop pneumonia due to secondary bacterial infections and uh, acute thromboembolic diseases can occur, it can uh, cause brain infarcts acute cardiac injuries like myocarditis, viral induced and also ischemic problems can also occur due to vasculitis problems. Uh, when you consider central nervous system, encephalitis, viral encephalitis can occur, delirium, and diffuse encephalopathies, microhemorrhages due to DIC and also vasculitis can occur, sepsis or septicemia, it's a uh, sinister complication and then acute kidney injuries, ultimately disseminated intravascular coagulation. So DIC is the ultimate complication. So imaging features, I am going to focus on mainly those on imaging fe uh, features in radiology made DC. Actually 18% of the patient have normal chest x-rays and uh, when you consider the progression of the disease, we can divide it into four stages. Uh, initial uh, 0 to 4 days, the imaging may be normal, the chest x-rays and HRCTs may be normal. Then the patient patients develop uh, ground glass opacification in 4 to 8 days. Then it progresses to consolidations in 8 to 12 days. And after 12 or 14 days, there may be resolutions or the immunocompromised patients. So patients with other illnesses can progress to consolidations plus fibrosis and second bacterial infections and sometimes 3% of pa uh, patients can develop pleural effusions. For then the first let's discuss chest x-ray findings. As I said initially chest x-ray may be novel but uh, in the latest uh, early stages there can be you can see some ground glass opacifications here peripheral and basal by basal ground glass opacifications so actually kind of a air space opacification and you can call it a reverse batwing opacification batwing opacifications occur in perihyla region when they occur peripherally we call it reverse batwing appearance there are a few differential diagnoses for reverse batwing appearances one is bronchial alveolar carcinoma then organizing pneumonias alveolar sarcoidosis chronic eosinophilic pneumonia and acute respiratory distress syndromes. Those are a few differential diagnoses for reverse bat wing appearance. Then the next chest x-ray when it progresses to late stages, uh, you can see bilateral here, 
bilateral peripheral consolidations with the abronchial formation you can see and the patient is acute ill you can see the endotracheal tube and g tubes and also some chest leads for monitoring purpose and uh, there are no fusions so pneumothorax and uh, no hyla prominences so so this is the next stage and when the patient becomes severely ill there will be diffuse peripheral consolidations you can see the upper lobe are also involved and you can see multiple consolidated areas peripherally almost entire lungs are involved no pleural effusions in the tracheal tube you can see and uh, so basically those are the latter stages in the chest x-ray in acutely ill patients so the ground glass opacification becomes consolidations peripherally with the abronchial formations and upper lobes can also involve in the latter stages uh, compared to by basal involvement in the early stages then next investigation is hrct high resolution ct of the chest yes this is taken at the heart level so you can see there are yeah space opacifications which are ground glass types peripherally you can see ground glass opacifications peripherally in the superior segment of both lower lobes you can see superior segments and also middle lobes and lingula so these are ground glass opacifications no fusions in the, and no lymphadenopathy and when it progresses there's interlobular septal thickening you can see here interlobular septal thickening giving like two appearance appearing as crazy paving appearance interlobular septal thickening with ground glass opacifications you can see peripheral ground glass opacifications you can see with interlobular septal thickening when they progress I will no pleural effusions and ultimately when there's no resolution patient can develop fibrotic changes you can see them some metallectetic bands and some interlobular septal thickenings you can see this, those are not reversible so these are fibrotic changes at the late stages if there's no resolution of the uh, pneumonia part and those basically those are few radiological appearances in covid-19 it is important to discuss these features and uh, so that concludes covid-19 case video please subscribe our youtube channel then you'll get notifications of our new videos and also you can comment on our videos thank you thanks for watching please like and subscribe for more videos like this